Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the Frozen Prism 360 millimeter AIO from Thermal Right, and I've got some thermals as well as noise testing to see how really loud these fans are. Make sure you continue to watch. Right, in terms of bent the thermals, now I've done two different types of testing this time. I have done normal without touching any of the voltages, and all I've enabled is PBO. So it's more of a, well, it's basically if you was to buy the CPU, just enable PBO, these are the results you're going to get from a 5900X. So Cinebench R23, the idles are 35 Celsius and the max is a 62. Blender Classroom, the idles are 36 and the max was a 62 Celsius. Blender BMW was 36 Celsius, our idle max was 61. 3D Mark CPU test, the idle was a 36 Celsius and the max was a 72. And the CPU maxed out at 142 watts with PBO enabled. Now, with me pushing the clocks as well as the voltage, I did get a 193 watts out of the CPU. So that was at 1.3 volts and at, no, it was 4.625 as in terms of the CPU frequency and it hit, like I said, 193 watts, which is ridiculous. So the idles in Cinebench R23 with 35, the max was an 82. Blender Classroom, the idles were 35 and the max was an 80. Blender BMW, the idles did creep up by one degree. That was 36 and the max was 81 Celsius on the max. 3D, 3D Mark CPU test, the eyes are 37 and the max was a 77. So I'm going to continue doing this in my reviews by doing basic testing like you would out of the box of the CPU and including my own uh, pushed numbers so that you guys will actually get more of, a, see, more of a realism when it comes to what kind of voltage and what wattage the C these coolers will handle. Right then, so look, right, you've you heard the thermals, and yes, I've been I've added different thermals, same testing, but I've adjusted on the second lot of testing for voltage and putting the clock speeds up as well as the wattage. Now, what I will say is this AIO handled it no problems at all, and remember, 1.3 volts on this CPU is rather high. I'd never run it full tilt like that full time never it's too much voltage and with amd when it comes to ryzen when you enable pbo they generally do overclock it, it really good itself but in this instance i did it to show that even at higher wattages this can still handle it now in terms of the overall look as you saw in the b-roll it looks absolutely stunning there's no problems when it comes to the overall look and design. I will give this to Thermal Right. The overall accent of metal on it does look rather striking. Now, the fans are the same fans that they used on the Note. And at 2000 RPM, they are loud. So what I will do now is a live noise test for you. So here we go. Right, the pump is rather quiet but for some reason this unit has got a bit of a hum so this is at 25 percent barely hear it this is at 100 percent well let's turn that down so that is what it sounds like a full tilt. Now, what I will say, it's very, very loud. 
I am not overly fond of very loud coolers because I got very sensitive hearing. So when it comes to really loud noises, especially coolers that are very no uh, noisy, I tend to hear noises better than some people because of my very sensitive hearing. Like if I if there's a fan that's starting to whine or the bearings are starting to seize up, trust me, I would hear it. Now. The performance is there and the price. I'll make sure to put the price here because this is an absolute bargain. So yeah, it's an absolute bargain. This will this is definitely up there when it comes to ASUS AIOs MSI. But the problem with the e ASUS ones, like the ROG version, they've got those oled displays and stuff with fancy fans and i'm sorry but if you're looking for a nice looking aio that performs thermal right at this time this moment in time is the brand to buy because they have got that corner of the market done bang for your buck they have got the best air coolers for the money on the market not the best coolers overall for the money and trust me, when it comes to consumers buying a cooler, they would rather save thirty. They would rather save five to ten pound, or ten to fifteen dollars, on a cooler that performs better. So yeah, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Good bye.